So I apologise to your producers because um, I've been trying not to be completely penis obsessed. <laughs> But I forgot that because they're ratites, they obviously have a penis, which is very exciting. Which is very unusual in birds. Yes, so only 3% of birds have yeah. penises. Most of them have what's called a cloaca, and they, they mate just by touching cloacas together. In a the horrible, horrible term of yes, cloacal the kiss. Yes, cloacal <laughs> kiss. Uh, Disgusting. <laughs> so gross. Um, but 3% of birds do have penises, so the ratites, so things like eem. In fact, if you really want to disturb yourself, look up an ostrich penis on Google I Images. I would say don't look up an ostrich penis because it's horrendous. Really horrific. <laughs> um, but most waterfowl have them as well. But the tinamou have a similar one, so certainly the great tinamou have little corkscrew one like the ducks do, um, which is, is cool. So if you haven't heard about ducks and duck vaginas, I strongly recommend a bit of a Google on this, I'm completely <laughs> obsessed. But they have similar things in the Tinamir, except in the duck vagina, you get all these sort of dead ends mm -hmm. to try and mm -hmm. stop the it's males. It's like a maze, isn't it? Like coercively mating with the females, whereas the Tinamir one has been described as accordion-shaped 